Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, if you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel, and then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link for that is below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do two four-question text readings, um, hashtag reading for that. I do two $50 prizes, post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for with a green heart for that. Uh, and then I'm giving away a mystery crystal box. You could hashtag crystals for that. And I am giving away um, one deck of Spirit Shield Tarot. So you could hashtag tarot for that. Okay. Winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. Um, for Cancer Baby Season, I have uh, Spirit Shield Tarot 60% off on my website. Uh, and we've got um, mystery crystal boxes. Oh, excuse me. For uh, $22 and 22 cents, you can choose between spheres or skulls. You obviously get other things in there, but the main, you know, theme of the box would be either a crystal sphere or a skull. Okay. Um, I do have tower towers, animals, tumbles, all that other good stuff, bracelets. Um, all right, so other than that, Royal Rose Oracle is back in stock on my website. If you missed it, it's been out of stock for a while. Let's get popping, my babies, and see what we have here. What am I grateful for today? My cancer babies, my puppies, and my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And happy birthday, my darlings. All right, let's see what we have for cancer, please. So we've got career, we've got liar, and we've got distant future. We've got toxic, we've got submissive, we've got shadow. What did I just see under the deck? I, I saw reconcile. Cancer, I, okay, I don't know who this person is that's coming in, 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 in this, in my energy recently, but I posted a reading on Tarot of Light about a sexual deviant, okay? And I got to be honest, so this is going to be really specific, okay? But I got to be honest, this is, I'm picking this up again this is the second time in the past few days i don't know who this person is but they have very strong energy um if you guys know anything about bdsm like dom subs type of vibes okay generally it's a man or a woman that has a very high powered career or they're very much in control of things, always telling people what to do, paying bills, doing whatever, you know, a high powered job. Maybe you run your own business. Um, and, and that's the energy that I'm seeing here with career. Okay. It's, uh, you know, my love life is important, but right now my career comes first. I'm busy and tired. So this is somebody that is, uh, you know, has a lot on their plate. Okay. A lot on their plate. I feel like what's happening here, Cancer, is you have someone coming into your energy that feels, it's almost like this person sees through you and they feel like, how do I want to put it? You lie to the world about what you really have going on. You may come off as super independent, career oriented on top of your shit, you know, uh, but they feel like you have two faces. They feel like there's one face that you present to the world where, you know, you're in control, you have shit together, but deep down inside, you don't want any of this. You just want someone to come in and take over. 
this is someone that feels that okay how do I want to put this this is someone that is going to make you feel ways that they're going to show you who you really are they're going to, I've never picked up this energy in a reading before. Okay. Sometimes I joke around about daddy's home and stuff like that, but I have never ever picked up this energy in a reading before. I have to be honest. Okay. So this is a very strong energy of somebody, you know, and they say that with the BDS community that a dom can take a submissive into places that they've never been before. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I've never experienced that, but you know, you read about these things, you hear about them or whatever. Um, so it, it's like that energy of somebody coming in and taking someone and, and just showing them a different side of themselves. Now, cancer, you may see this person as toxic because it says here, I will promise you heaven, but deliver only hell. You love the high of my promises though. So I feel like cancer, what you're used to is people coming into your life and telling you that they're going to make your life better or making all these promises to you. So you don't trust anybody anymore, you know? And I think that in the distant future, you're about to meet someone here that will actually allow you to sit in a submissive energy that you're craving, but you, you're, you're craving this, but you don't even know that you're craving this. Many of you may say, I don't want anyone controlling me. I'm in control of my life. I don't trust nobody with my shit. I, I don't trust anybody. I'm not doing that, you know, or I'm, I could never see myself being bossed around by anybody. Um, but truly, it's kind of like there's a part of you on the inside that craves having someone in your life that you can trust enough to relinquish all control. And whoever this person is that's coming towards you sees it. They see right through you. They see right through you, especially because you're a perfect candidate for a submissive role. I feel like cancer, this is going to be an actual, they're going to give you the gift of submission. Like they're going to give you the gift. I, I don't, like I, I've never, I, I've never experienced anything like this and I've never had a reading come out like this, but on Tarot of Light, I, I just, a couple days ago, or is this come? I forget when it's coming out. I know I did the reading yesterday. I did the reading yesterday to go out for Monday, I think. Um, but this is, this is interesting. I did it yesterday for Tower of Light and today I'm doing, today's Sunday and I'm doing Cancer's reading for Monday morning. So it came out for both the collective and for my Cancer babies. Guys, I don't know, but this is a very much of like a Dom submissive type of energy. Someone that's seeing right through you. Okay. So we've got compromise and we've got jealous. This is going to be a very overly obsessive person when it comes down to you. Okay. Very overly uh, possessive person. We've got compromise. Oh, jealous spells and third party. Okay, so apart from this energy here, I think that you have an ex that's coming back around that sees that you're moving on and could potentially be doing spell work. Okay, oh, all right. So Cancer, you've got something coming towards you that I think a lot of people want but it's not very easy to find. Okay. It's not very easy to find. Um, when it comes down to these dumb and submissive roles, there are a lot of people that call themselves dominant energies, but they're actually very abusive. Okay. Um, uh, there, there's a lot of people that consider themselves doms, but they're bullies and they're abusive and they're toxic and they, they, they're not true to that nature. Okay. 
Um, but I think that cancer, you could be encountering a true dominant energy. Someone, you know, uh, people see dominant, you hear dom sub situations and you think of like a person that has you hanging from a ceiling, whipping you, throwing wax on you. It's actually not like that. A dominant, uh, is actually very, um, caring towards the submissive. Okay. Uh, very caring towards the submissive. So it, it's, it's like, you're about to find something that people are going to be jealous of is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I feel that there could be a third party here that is either doing spell work to break this apart or, you know, it could be a friend or a family member that's jealous of what you have found or what you have in your life, or it could be an ex or it could be an ex. Uh, there, there, there's something coming into your life that is actually very, very difficult to find. It's, it's not easy to find. Um, and you may have someone in your energy that's actually jealous of this. I just can't believe that this came out again. I, I, I saw this in, uh, the on tarot of light for the collective. I just, I'm a little astounded that it, this has come out again. All right. Tell me about cancer, please. Oh gosh. Okay. Ace of cups. This is going to be I've new love guys, you know, new love. Tell me about cancer, please. And the Ace of Wands. So cancer, you're about to enter into an energy of not just new love, but a new sexual experience. A new sexual experience. Tell me about cancer. We've got the Three of Wands. And we've got the Hanged Man. Whoever you're dealing with here, cancer... I feel like they're wanting to communicate with you and talk to you about this, about what the future would hold between you guys. Um, I feel like this is a very patient individual, even though they're, they're kind of suffering and sacrificing and trying to kind of like, I think the word that I used in the other reading was like grooming or conditioning you for this. Okay. With the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords, again, Cancer, you've got three aces here. You're talking to somebody here that knows that you would uh, enjoy this. You're talking to someone here that sees a side of you that you don't show anybody, or it could be that you don't even know that you would want something like this in your life. It's not something that you have around you very often. It's not discussed very often. You know, when most of us, when we think of Dom sub things, we just think of a lot of whips and leather and painful shit and just craziness. Okay. Like, you know, a lot of us don't really like it's maybe hot in like, I don't know, 50 shades of gray or something like, you know, the, the concept is hot, but we don't really pursue that in our day-to-day -day lives. Right. Cancer. This is someone that, how do I want to put this? They know they can make you reach levels that you've never reached before. They know they can ho open up a whole new world to you. When this person kind of talks to you about like what they plan on doing to you, for you with the seven of cups, you're kind of at a loss here. You're confused. You're just, yeah, I, don't, I think you're kind of rendered speechless. You're not really understanding what this person wants to do to you. I do feel like with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, this is not a person that just kind of wants to use you and leave. Um, this is someone that actually sees high levels of, excuse me, commitment with you. Your throat may catch when this person talks to you this way. This is someone that may actually see high levels of commitment with you. And because of that, um, this is someone that may explain to you what they're into and what they want to do. Okay. And I think you're a little bit at a, a loss here. You may, again, you may see this as toxic because it's kind of like this person is offering like a dream come true, the commitment, everything that you want. But then there's like this quote unquote dark side of you having to enter into a realm that you've never experienced before. And it might be a little scary for you. Okay. 
we've got the five of pentacles here and the queen of pentacles so i mean the option is always there cancer for you to walk away and leave this behind but there's also this temptation because this person is so serious about wanting something real with you. Okay, yeah, see, King of Swords energy. This person is not, you can tell, you can tell by this person's demeanor that they mean what they say and they say what they mean. Uh, this is someone that is making promises. Actually, I'm sorry, we have four aces here now. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. This person's not playing with you, Cancer. They're not playing with you. And this person, believe it or not, knows you better than you know yourself. And they haven't even known you that long. Okay? They haven't even known you that long. And I, I feel like this person is wanting to come forward and be honest. They know that it might scare you away and that you might leave, but it is what it is. You know, this person, I, I feel like they see long term with you and they have things that they want to do to you and they they have to talk to you about it. <laughs> you know, uh, with the Knight of Cups and the Four of Swords, this is a very caring and romantic person. Remember what I told you about true dom you know, dominance. They actually are very caring and loving and concerned about their partner, believe it or not. Okay. Um, so this is an energy of somebody that with the four swords, it's like they want you rested and relaxed and safe. They want commitment with you. Okay. They want commitment with you, but this is somebody that I don't know how to express what I'm trying to say. Like they want you to relinquish control and know what it feels like to just be taken care of and, and to be at peace. I feel like with the star card and the page of swords, the way this person expresses those things to you may sound like a dream come true, but when it comes down to what's actually involved in you getting to that place, I think you're like, I got to think about this. Okay. You know, what, when, when it comes down to what would actually have to take place for you to be in this four of swords energy and just allow someone else to take over it's scary. It, you need time to think about this because this is very different, Cancer. This is something that is going to change your life, okay? The world card and the death card. This is something that is going to change your life. With the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles, Cancer, I think that this person that's coming towards you, uh, has an ex or there's a queen of wands energy that wants this person. They're jealous, they're possessive, and they want to stop this from happening with the three of swords here and the five of cups and the 10 of swords. Cancer, I think that this energy that's coming towards you is breaking another person's heart to come towards you. And I think this is the individual that is sending hateful energy your way or possibly doing magic on you. Uh, we've got the nine of pentacles here with the five of wands. This is someone that sees you sitting in pre empress energy. They see you again. Don't forget cancer. You're sitting. This is may not resonate with you if you don't have a powerhouse vibe to you. Uh, this is going to be for my cancers that have, you know, kids and a job and they're, they're maybe like a single parent, somebody here that has to be in control. 
at all times, someone that runs their business, someone, this is going to be like, you know, you may think your life is not like that, but ask yourself, you know, if you don't get the oil changed, who's going to do it? If you don't clean the house, who's going to do it? If you don't take care of your kids, who's going to do it? It's like, realistically, you may not realize it, but many of you are just in control of everything. You have to be responsible for everything and everyone around you. And if you choose to not be responsible for five minutes, the whole world goes to hell. Okay. So this is going to be for people that are highly independent, very, you know, in control of everything. And I feel like this queen of wands energy could be jealous because this queen of wands, I don't know how I want to put this. Like this queen of wands energy could potentially be a submissive. They've been a submissive for a long time, but it's kind of like they don't have that. Um, they say that true submissives, this is the real role, like where you have people that have a high powered thing. And those are the people that truly crave the loss of control. This queen of wands energy, I think they do it for play. I think they do it because they just like to be submissive. It's a turn on whatever, but there's not that true relinquishing of control because this queen of wands energy really doesn't control anything to begin with. You know, the queen of wands energy may work at, you know, as a bookkeeper somewhere, or they may work at a, you know, as a bartender or, you know, they, they don't really control much in their day-to-day -day life. So there's really not much to relinquish. Okay. There's a difference between a queen of wands being submissive and a pre empress nine of pentacles energy that has their shit together, a powerhouse of a person that doesn't need anybody relinquishing complete control. Right. And I feel like cancer, when this person finds you, you are more attractive to them in that role. You are more of the type of person that would be satisfying to basically you would make this person feel like a true dom and you would sit in the role of a true submissive energy. This queen of wands energy could potentially be doing magic. We've got the lover's card, uh, Adam, even the snake, you and this dominant energy could have a very strong soul tie, but you're going to have this snake on the side that is missing your person that is craving reconciliation with your person. But cancer, I think that this, this individual is head over heels with you. I think that this this dominant energy coming into your life is head over heels in love with you, okay? Uh, the six of cups here, Cancer, this could be a past life soulmate with the empress here and the four of wands. Again, I have to repeat myself. This is not someone that just wants to hit it and quit it. This is someone that sees you as a long-term partner. This is someone that sees you as a long-term partner. Uh, with the full card, and I think that's also interesting because that came out in the Tarot of Light reading, this person may be falling in love with your innocence, falling in love with showing you a whole new world. With the Moon card and the Tower Cancer, prepare to you know be mind blown because I think that you didn't even... You're about to enter into a realm of your shadow side. You're about to enter the deepest, darkest parts of yourself, okay? And with the tower, I think it's going to be explosive for you. With the tower, I think this is going to be, yeah, two of swords and the judgment, not being able to make your own decisions, not being able to, you know, initially maybe you might not even want to do this, but I think you're going to come around, okay? Um, the two of swords and the judgment card, if you have any concerns of your person, you know, cheating with this ex, because this ex is very much, and I don't even want to call them an ex, this queen of wands, because I'm not even sure that these two were in a relationship. It is just someone like that your person was using like a friends with benefits type of vibe. Okay. Uh, if you are even remotely worried about your person going back to this queen of wands energy, because this queen of wands may be younger than you, they, you know, may just come off as younger, more carefree. They don't have all the responsibilities that you have. 
um, that is not the case. This dominant energy would actually end up finding you more attractive than the Queen of Wands energy. I can't believe this came out twice. I, I can't believe this came out twice. So yeah, I mean, I don't know who this person is that's coming in so strong in, in this energy. They could be an Aries, a Scorpio, strong Aries. They could be a Pisces, uh, very strong Scorpio energy here. Not surprised, by the way. Um, they could be a Virgo. They could be a Gemini. They could be a Libra, a Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, an Aquarius. They could be an Aquarius. All right, guys. Well, that's what I got for you. Let's go ahead and do Cancer and all 12 signs. Okay, Spirit, tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs. I'm not going to bother to take this into the extended. Um, it said distant future. So for those of you who are curious, let's see when this person is coming into Cancer's life. When do we see this person coming into Cancer's life? Uh, timing is pushed back due to blockages. Oh, gosh. So by the end of the week, and give it time, it's in the works. Cancer, I think that you, this person was supposed to leave something behind by the end of this week, but something was blocked. So I'm feeling that maybe your person is trying to get away from this Queen of Wands energy and this Queen of Wands is delaying it. So Spirit is saying, give it time, it's in the works. So we have tomorrow looks promising and then December. You see, it's almost like I think that this, I think that your person is like by, by tomorrow, the end of the week, they're wanting to kind of leave this queen of wands energy. And I think that this person has to kind of move away from this queen of wands to be able to, you know, allow room for you to come into their life. Uh, but I think that this Queen of Wands is not letting go. So it could be by the end of the year, by December, all right? Timing is pushed back due to blockages. Okay, Spirit, tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs, please. Cancer and all 12 signs. So if we're dealing with an Aries, the Ten of Pentacles and the Hanged Man, um, this is someone that may not be communicating to you that they want a future with you they kind of want to keep you on your toes wondering and waiting but they do envision a future if we're dealing with a taurus we've got the two of pentacles and the eight of cups this is someone that you know they want to walk away from the connection and move on but they're not really sure if they want to it's like they want to but then they don't if we're dealing with a gemini we've got the two of cups and the page of swords this gemini may be either showing you how much they love you or telling you that they love you for the first time if we're dealing with a cancer the seven of pentacles and the strength card there's a cancer here that's missing you but they're holding back and not making a move if we're dealing with a leo we've got the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles uh, you could be meeting a new Leo, and this is the love of your life, your divine soulmate, the person that you've been praying for or manifesting, or there could be a reconciliation of some sorts. Uh, for some of you, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Leo, you and your person could potentially be hitting the jackpot uh, financially if you guys are going to a casino or something like that. If we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got the Sun card and the Six of Swords. If things were bad between you and the Virgo, I do feel um, that, uh, things are going to be getting better and we've got happiness and healing here. Uh, if you guys are at a distance, there could be traveling to see each other. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the hermit and the lover's card. Your, your Libra is being tempted by something and they're pulling back the energy to figure out what they want to do. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, the queen of swords and the nine of wands, um, I feel like this Scorpio wants to create some type of blockage for you. Like this person is trying to hurt you so that you can't leave or that you can't do anything. Queen of Swords is a very intelligent person and it's kind of like a strategic person. So I feel like this is someone that's out to mentally and physically and emotionally exhaust you so that you don't have the energy to leave. If we're dealing with a Sagittarius, the Four of Swords and the Seven of Cups, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I feel like this person is 
future faking or has you living in a fantasy. And I feel like it's really going to throw you off your game with the four of swords here. I think that um, this person is hurting you to the point that you may end up in a depression or, uh, you know, not wanting to leave the house. Like just, you know, you're, you're wanting this person's illusion to be real and it's draining you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the five of cups and the three of pentacles, the Capricorn is sorry and wants to work it out. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, page of pentacles and the eight of wands, uh, expect a lot of communication from the Aquarius. If we're dealing with a uh, Pisces, the high priestess and the ace of cups, there's a Pisces here that has a serious crush on you, but I don't think that they're coming forward. Okay. All right, guys, I love you so much. That's what I got for you. And I will see you ooh, soon. Take care, my darlings.